Hello, I'm Reverend Judy Eliot. Welcome to Unity of the Keys Spiritual Center. This is going to be the very last in a series of meditation and blessings that we've been posting for you on Wednesdays. I hope you've enjoyed them. Today I would like to share with you a special water blessing and water prayers and also a color healing. So many of you may have known or heard of the Venerable Bonte Dharmawara. He lived from 1888 to 1999 and was a monk from Cambodia, but also he lived in India and established a a Soka mission there as both a Buddhist monk and healer and naturopath. He uh, was a contemporary of Gandhi and Nehru's. He lived a long and healthy life. And he shared with us that the color green is instrumental for healing. And so thinking green and looking around and seeing green and meditating on the color green which is the central vibration of the rainbow, the central color, is actually a balancing and a harmonizing force for you personally. And there's actually scientific evidence now that just looking at green things, looking at healthy green plants like these and healthy green trees boosts the serotonin in our brains, it boosts our immune system. So he was on to something. <laughs> he felt that green was an excellent color for anyone, for any dis-ease at all. And he, caught, he um, taught many different kinds of color healing, but this one he felt was the central color. Now water blessings are in all the world's religions. If you're Catholic, you certainly have used holy water and you know when you go into the church you bless yourself with holy water and at different times in the year the priest sprinkles you with holy water we go on pilgrimages to drink from certain kinds of water like at lords where we believe they heal us in native culture they believe that we can bless water and that will become medicine for us when we go into an anipi, a sweat lodge, that water, once it is invoked and blessed by those who are present, it is no longer simply water. It's a special medicine. And that was what Bonte taught as well. He taught that we can bless water, we can put it in green bottles and put it out in the sun. And that will be a blessing to us because the sun will charge the water and also our prayers will charge the water. So join me now in blessing this water, which then I'm going to gift to Kim for her and Gabriel's health. So I begin by centering myself. And praying for God's blessing to flow through me into this water for Kim and Gabe. And you can do this for yourself or for anyone. I'm going to share with you this blessing from the Buddhist tradition, but you can simply use your heartfelt prayers, the Lord's Prayer, St. Teresa's Prayer, the Prayer of St. Francis, any prayer and the water will be charged with that vibration. So here's the Buddhist prayer. By the power of the Buddhas, by the power of the Dharmas, by the power of the Sanghas, by the Buddha treasure, the Dharma treasure, the Sangha treasure, the three treasures, by their power, by the 84,000 sections of Dharma, by the power of the three Pitakas, by the power of the conquerors, may all your diseases, all your dangers, all your obstacles, all your distress, all your unlucky signs, all your inauspiciousness, may they all be destroyed. May you have long life, wealth, fortune, fame, power, 
beauty. May all these be yours. May your happiness increase. May all those things that bring us suffering, dukkha, disease, danger, enmity, sorrow, perils, and distress, not only one obstacle, but may they all be destroyed by this blessing. Success, wealth, safety, happiness, strength, fortune, long life, beauty, prosperity, and fame. May they and a hundred years or more of healthy life and success be yours. May all these blessings be. And in concluding, let's just join together and say this green light prayer that Vante shared with us. And close your eyes now and feel yourself being blessed by this vibration of color that we call green. Oh, green rays of balancing cosmic force. You're the symbol of strength, energy, and youthfulness. Flow onto me and onto you and onto Lola and Kim and onto everyone, the eternal rays of wisdom. Make my mind and life evergreen and fresh. O oh, emerald rays of great harmonizing light, make me an instrument fit to serve humanity. So just hold that thought for a moment and be still and breathe deep. Namaste. And so you take the bottle and you place it in the sun. You see all these beautiful bottles over here that are in the sun. And then you leave it in the sun for as long as you can, four to eight hours of direct sunlight so that that powerful radiant energy of the sun reflected into those green bottles goes in to those beautiful bottles to charge and to bless you. May all be well. May all be happy. May everyone have health and happiness.